Hi, guys. Um, I guess this is something new that we're going to do with the August Love Story channel. Won't be a podcast episode, but we've decided since quarantine started and we like super got into Married at First Sight that we're going to review season 11. Yep. So I have my um, handsome husband here. Hi, Hi guys. There. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I guess what we'll do, this is going to be episodes one and two, a review, which is essentially just the telling of the families and then the first three, three weddings. weddings. Yeah. And then um, we'll try to start getting these episodes out a day or so after the actual yeah. episode goes live. So bear with us. This is a work in progress. This is something new that we just decided we were going to attempt to do. And uh, why you make that face? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something that we're going to attempt to do. So let's get started. Let's get started. I guess first off, we can... We'll go couple by couple. Yeah. You going to do that? I think that's the best way to do no, it. No, I was going to that was going to name all the couples. Oh, no. Nah, we let's can just, just do couple go, by yeah. couple and we'll tell a little bit about them and then we'll each give how we think they're going to fare on decision day. All right, bet. All right. Bet we could do that. So we're going to start with <laughs> who was our first wedding? Our first wedding was Karen and Miles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Karen and Miles. Karen is 30, Miles is 26. Um, Karen is uh, in project management. Miles is a school administrator. Apparently, he used to play football. Yeah, in college. In college football, college player. Um, so I wrote some notes down, guys. One of the things that I wanted to make sure to mention was Karen, for some reason, was sent Miles's Instagram information <laughs> prior to the wedding day. I think somebody was trying to sabotage her. That's how I feel. <laughs> feel like it's all a scheme. Yeah, I, I think some like I think that was done for TV. Yeah, it had to have been. Yeah, like I I don't know. And how did you know that she was going to be the one? Because there's two black guys, right? And if you just assumed that I was going to be matched with the black guy, why would you just know it was Miles? Yeah. Why wouldn't you think it was Woody? So I I think they was just trying to you know do something for TV because at the end she still went out and married him. I mean, she was she signed the contract. <laughs> I guess she was like, I gotta get this check. <laughs> so um Karen said from Miles' Instagram videos that he was too emotional. And then also something that I noticed, because we had we rewatched the episode so that we could review these correctly. Yeah. Um, on the very first episode, I think it was Amelia said, Oh my gosh, I hope you're not gonna be a runaway bride. And Karen, like, looked down into her glass and was like, mm, I might. So I think they were setting the scene up uh, for that. Yeah. Like, now that you say you think it was for TV, yeah. I feel like the scene was set up for that once yeah. I saw that part after I had the hindsight of knowing yeah. that yeah. it was Karen that made that comment in the closet or bathroom or wherever it was. Um, Something else that I noticed about Karen and Miles was that when they got married, and I, like, I don't know Miles personally, obviously, yes. but Miles gives off the the gentleman persona. Right. And like when they said you can now kiss your bride, he kissed her on the cheek, not even trying to go for the lips. I noticed that the first time. No, I noticed that. But I'm just <laughs> saying like Miles gives off the gentleman like persona and like. That would have been a gold star for me. If my friend was marrying Miles, I would yeah. have been like, Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. Um, I don't know. I mean, like Miles is a good guy. You can tell he's a good guy mm -hmm. just be just because of his persona and how he speaks on. He wants to be married, mm -hmm. which is, I mean, it's admirable. Yeah, very admirable for twenty six year old. Because when I was twenty six, I wasn't wanting to be married, but I was getting to the point to where. Like doing these things that I what had you been doing. Me? You were 27 when you proposed right. to me. So, oh, oh, but okay. I was happy with you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm different. But okay. um, it's not about me. It's about Miles. We're talking about Miles. Yeah. Um, but Miles is a, is a super cool guy, super good guy. And then Karen, like what worried me at the beginning was 
um, when she when they brought up the fact that she saw, well, he's not my type. He's not this. He's not that. Mm. I'm like, why are you saying all this? Like, you still you, gonna do it, right? <laughs> it's like, are you gonna? Are you not gonna do it? What is her type? I don't know. Like, I, I just. Like I'm curious to see how their like, relationship you her, her, unfolds. <laughs> you said her type was probably like a thug. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'm like, Karen seems to shelter for that. Maybe she likes the geeky guy, right. but I would assume that Miles has a little bit of that in him too. Yeah, I mean, like it, it, it's probably like, of course, he's showing his face. Mm-hmm. Like as you say, you get. You don't truly get a, a you person. You get their representative. Yeah, he's showing his representative, but I don't think his representative is too far off from him. Now, I'm curious to see the the like the arguments and stuff that they get into, mm-hmm. just to see what they they'll be about or whatnot. Um, just because I, I I feel like I'm agreeing with the I like that couple. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. I like that couple. I like Miles. I don't know that I like the couple, but I like Miles. I like I like Karen too. Like I yeah, I like Karen, but I really like Miles. <laughs> her mom, man, her mom wasn't having it at first. But it's it's kind of good to see moms get into it. Like I know um uh, we haven't gotten to the next episode, but I know Usually the second episode they use from the marriage from the wedding, they usually talk to the parents the and stuff like that. So I'm curious to see what those interactions look like. But as long as it's not like Nate from Chicago. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. So decision day. Um I think they're gonna stay together. I hope they're going to stay together. <laughs> so I'm going to say they're going to stay together. I so think they're going to stay together. We both get a heart for Karen and Miles. Yeah. All right. So the next couple is Olivia and Brett. So I don't remember how old Olivia was, but I know Brett she was 30. 30. She was 30? Yeah. And Brett is 35. I know that she's a nurse practitioner. I can't remember what he did, but I remember him mentioning in the first episode that he had been engaged before. Oh really? I believe that that's what he. Oh said. yeah, yeah. Because he, man, Brett, man, I got a lot to say about him, man. Yeah, they they said he. Well, he said he had been engaged before and it didn't work out. Yeah, and that's when he started dating all these women, mm-hmm. dating all right. these women. So, so one of the things I'm going to give my high point about Olivia. All right, go ahead. I like that she said if she ever does karaoke, <laughs> the artist is going to be Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. So that tells me that. She gets down. <laughs> yeah, right. Like she probably get drunk and be singing lollipop. <laughs> but I don't see that as her. Like, she probably never goes to karaoke. I don't know. Going to UT. That's true. We've seen some wild ones. That's true. And she seems like she could fit the criteria of yeah, some of the wild that's ones. That's true. So that's my high point for Olivia as far as us not knowing much about her. Yeah. Um, one of the other things that I noted, and now you're probably going to want to talk to this, is that uh, I didn't like Brett. I don't think I I I nah. think I did not like Brett from the very first um, sit down with all the guys. Yeah. When the waitress brought over the drinks, and he was like, "Call me." Yeah, I think I think right there. Yeah, like I had the same sentiment with Brett. Uh, because that was for me that was uncomfortable as a person that's watching them, mm-hmm. you know, go through this process. And then, you know, you could tell it was kind of uncomfortable for the rest of the guys. Like Yeah, they made mention of it. Right. It's it's like for me, it's I would think that he's mm-hmm. trying to fit in too much. He would be one of them guys that's trying mm-hmm. to show that he's super cool, even though he's about to get married the next day. Yeah, and that was a little awkward because Knowing your spouse or not beforehand, you're getting married. Right. Why like, are you trying to like holler at the waitress? Yeah. And then at the bachelor party. At the, at, to, to one of the guys, Henry's, Henry's friend. Henry's <laughs> like, like, Henry's tripping. friend was like, can y'all get him? <laughs> right. Like, this this brother right here is tripping. Like, man. <laughs> on camera? So, for me, I think that Brett was using this show... Um. 
to springboard himself, maybe as an Instagram personality or I something. That. I don't really know what his motive was, but it does not seem like his motive was to be happily married. Yeah, I can see that. Um, as far as like, I think he he just, you know, he <laughs> wants to be married because he was engaged before. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like, I mean, and we don't know what happened reason why he not engaged anymore Mm -hmm. but i just feel like a lot of the stuff that he's shown so far Mm -hmm. it's it doesn't mesh well with olivia because olivia see that's her name right Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's just like right her and the other girl just didn't rub me like they didn't do it for me but (laughs) olivia seems like this wholesome girl but um brett seems like he wants to fit in he's the man around town yeah and he wants to be the guy but he really isn't Mm -hmm. you know i think um and i think that that has a lot to do with how he was raised because like all his siblings are jokesters or quote unquote jokesters, which was just annoying to me. Right, or it is, would be annoying. It would be me. annoying to everybody else too. Yeah, except for their family. For them, because that's what they did, mm-hmm. you know. So um, I'm curious to see how theirs going to work out too. I'm curious to find out what the matchmakers, the experts, mm-hmm. saw for them to. First off, I knew they both they both like cats. So that's that's not enough. Yeah, like for me, <laughs> I I don't really like cats. So we don't like snakes. That wasn't enough to really stick <laughs> in a relationship. Right. So I was like, whatever. So I don't know. Uh, what's your what's your call on them? Um on decision. I'm day? saying that they're not gonna stay together. Bill. Um yeah. Who who you think gonna because I think I don't think they're gonna stay together, but I think Olivia, from just what I'm seeing, she's, she's gonna want to. She's stay gonna want to stay together. Yeah, she's gonna want to try to make it work because she got married, right? And she's like, for better or worse, right? Even and, though they wasn't. And in their Brett's house. like, I'm done. Yeah, he's like, I got, I came here what I came here for. By which, the way, I hope we're wrong on that one. I hope they stay together and be happily married for years and years. I to hope come. he's not the prick. That he, that he seems to, to be. be, yeah. That's what I he hope. definitely seems. But like something that. else that I didn't mention before we move on to the next uh, couple, he left the bachelorette. I mean, the bachelor party early. That bothered me too. He that like I get why he left because he wasn't fitting in with nobody. But it's and your then, and, he, party. and he should have stayed. I give you that your he should have stayed. And TV. Right, but I know why he left. It sucks that he left, but he just wasn't fitting in with the rest of the group because everybody was having a good time. And here he comes with his. You really like to do this. No, nah, it wasn't even that. He was just trying to, he tried to holler at girl. Um, right. Henry's like- friend. And then <laughs> his, like his brother's name was still there. Like, so who did you leave with? I don't know. I don't know. A white pickup truck. It probably was an Uber. Come get me. (laughs) And um, I'm interested to also see if his parents actually make an appearance. Because they did not come to the wedding. Because they, quote unquote, don't do TV. Right, right. Oh, and one thing before we go. Olivia was so uncomfortable getting a lap dance. She was. And I mean. (laughs) That's what makes me wonder about this couple, man. I feel the same way. Male strippers freak me out. Yeah, I got you. Like, they make me super uncomfortable. So, I would not have wanted a lap dance at my bachelorette party either. Like, that was one of the things that I listed high on my list. Like, when my bridesmaids asked me what I wanted to do, I made sure to mention what I did not want to do. Yeah. And that was have male strippers. That was very high on my list. I got you. But most of us feel the same way about male strippers. So. It wasn't a thing for my bachelorette party. Know. All right, so moving on. Ah, Woody and <laughs> Woodrow. <laughs> oh, Woodrow. <laughs> so initially, when the first episode came on, I was not here for Woodrow. Yeah. At all. Like me and Woody, <laughs> I didn't want no parts of Woody. Yeah. Woody was like, he seemed like the annoying cousin, which I have a cousin that acts like Woodrow. Yeah. You haven't met this cousin. He's oh, a distant yeah. cousin. Oh, okay. But I have a cousin that acts like Woodrow. 
And I never thought that he was ready to be married. <laughs> so, and I still don't really think he's ready to be married, even though, you know, he's a few years older than me. Yeah. But um, Woody kind of reeled me in once we got to the wedding. Yeah. So that kind of changed my course of action for him. But I, I noticed like one thing that you and Woody have similar is like y'all live out loud in color. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Woody is definitely a colorful person. Oh, yeah. Oh, like yeah. he needs the shades to match the jacket, right. to match the <laughs> shoes. He going to kill him with I'm these. I'm going to kill him with these. <laughs> like Woody is like, Mr. Look at me. Yeah. But, um, like his friends were like, I don't really know right, right. <laughs> about Woody getting married. And then we have Amani. Amani seemed like she just didn't take a lot of mess. Yeah. And that's why she hadn't found her Mr. Right. Yeah. Like, it's not that she wasn't actively trying or she wasn't all in. It just seems like it just didn't work. It didn't click yeah. for whatever the other guys were in the past. And I think that she kind of reminds me of um Diana from she last does. season. She does. She does like, remind me of Diana. A very sweet person, very yeah. genuine person. And it just she, she just wasn't lucky in love. She is truly down to earth. Mm-hmm. Um, she doesn't seem like she's having a representative. Right. Like right. she is who she is. Morning, noon, and night on yeah. this show, like at least for the first two episodes. She ain't, like it's it's funny with with Woody. Like they they seem like they're compatible with each other. From if I'm going out, I'm gonna have a good time. Yes, like Woody's, she's gonna get up and dance, and he gonna be the life of the party. Right, right. But she's gonna be she gonna she's gonna have a good time when she goes out. But and and she's gonna really put her all into this. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what I see, and Woody. As well as gonna put this all into this on the outside looking in, it looks like Woody is this player, mm-hmm. you know, from from the conversation with him with and his friends. with his friends with Miles and- with Miles being there yeah. and, and stuff like that. And when they told him told their friends that they both were getting married, everybody was like, "Yeah, Miles is ready," but Woody, but Woody was like, "Man, it's an opportunity for me to, you know." What if she's my my it girl? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Like I think what changed the course for me with Woody. <sighs> bless you. Thank you. What changed the course for me with Woody? I was holding was, <laughs> was um his cousin's speech. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think that that speech humanized Woody for me. And it made me like, okay. Woody just likes to have fun. Woody's just not like a jokester. Yeah. Which there's a fine line for me between jokester and like to have fun. I didn't like that about you when I first met you. It's not about me though. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm (laughs) I'm putting it into perspective. Like remember when we first started dating, I told you I didn't really like you in college because you, you were a jokester to me. Yeah. And it's like, there's a fine line between joking too much and just truly liking to have fun. Mm. And so like once I got to that point with Woody, it humanized him and it made me like say, okay, I see him for who he is. Cause I think, I don't know if you noticed, but like my tone changed about him. I was like, oh, he's a teacher. That's cool. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure he's a good teacher because he can relate to the kids yeah. in a joking manner. And like, actually be able to be sensitive with them too. So for decision day, I think they're going to work out. Yeah, I do too. Not I, unless he the one with the crazy ex. I think, right. <laughs> they say something about somebody's crazy Somebody ex. got a crazy ex. But um, I also believe like the way that, like one thing that stood out to me was after they got married um, in what, episode two? Mm-hmm. After they got married, um, and they went to talk to each other. Woody was being a uh a, a for uh all intents and purposes, a kid mm-hmm. in the situation because he was flirting with her, all extra and stuff like that. When I mean I get it, you know, you it's gonna, his wife. 
Right. You're going to throw compliments and stuff like that. It's just just seeing that interaction. And then they finally found that common ground with she's a um, she does something with high school seniors she's a, and juniors. a program coordinator. A program coordinator for high school mm-hmm. seniors and juniors. Mm-hmm. And he teaches high school. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's a, it's kind of like they found that common ground. And then the conversation was able to move forward with um, get to know them. And know you can each other. see both of their personalities when it comes to interacting with kids because being a program coordinator for juniors and seniors means that you're trying to get them to take their future seriously. Mm-hmm. So that's where her sternness comes. Right, in. right. But then with him, he's like, I need you to open up so I can teach you. Yeah. And that's where his playfulness comes right, in. Right, right, right. So you can see it on both sides. Both sides. Yeah. So, like, for me, I hope that they stay together. Yeah, right. So my, right. my thing for decision day is. They gonna stay together. I I think they're gonna stay together too. Unless um, Woody has the crazy ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and so, last but not least for today, which there's still two couples left to actually get married, but we saw everything up to the altar. Yeah. For this couple, which is Amelia and Bennett. Yeah. So we ain't gonna talk about Henry. Oh, Henry. No, we well we can talk oh, about okay. Henry and Christina. When we get to their wedding. All right. Um, so, Amelia and Bennett. Amelia is a doctor. Yeah. A whole doctor. A med. She just finished she med school. She just finished med school. So, she is an entire MD. Yeah. I wonder what type of medicine she practices. Because. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And then Bennett, they listed him as a romantic thespian. One of the things that I noted about him was that he lives in a tiny house that doesn't have plumbing. Yeah. That bothered they, me. They are like... Quirky. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> they are quirky. They are quirky. quirky mm-hmm. And then I know why they were matched up with each because other. Because <laughs> they were quirky. I don't think there was anyone else out of the list of applicants that they had that had the types of quirks that they did. They both did. Yeah. And the fact that they both signed up for this show, if I was a producer, I at least know it was gonna be good TV. Right. Even right. if they didn't stay together, it was good TV. It was solid TV because people are gonna <laughs> tune in for them. So okay, for this couple, I don't want to give a decision day or do you? Yeah, like you I wanna give a decision for everybody. Yeah. Okay. These are these are predictions. Okay, okay, so we can do it, we can do yeah. it. Yeah. So one of the things that I have to make mention of is that Amelia's friends, her bridesmaids, came to the altar with one of them on a unicycle. They did. They did. <laughs> Wait, time out. <laughs> Amelia had a bird in her head. She <laughs> did. She had a bird. But you know what? And he I gave, wasn't mad and at he the gave bird. her a rock. He before. did. He gave her a rock as their wedding gift. Yeah. And <laughs> she said, I was excited about this rock because I knew that there was a hand that handed the rock and that there's an arm attached to that hand <laughs> and there's a body attached to that arm. And I'm like, she's weird. Girl, what? <laughs> um, oh, Bennett at the bachelor party. Bennett we gotta was talk about that. Best <laughs> life at the bachelor party. He was having a blast. Um, I enjoy Bennett at the bachelor party. Like, I would have wanted to go to their bachelor party to like hang out with Man, me. I would have loved to see Bennett. Because <laughs> Bennett was in getting it. it. <laughs> he was Bennett was in it. <laughs> um, so Amelia being a doctor mm-hmm. is the daughter of a doctor. Yep. And one of the things that she talked about um was the I don't want to call it the untraditional view, but I guess it is an untraditional view that she wants her husband to be a stay at home husband and dad. Yeah. Or dad. She didn't really mention the stay at home husband. Because that's what her dad did. Because that's how her dad was. Her mom was a doctor. Her mom had a demanding lifestyle. And her dad held the house down. Yeah. So he did the cooking, the cleaning, the running the errands and taking you to and from everything. And um, I think that Bennett could do that. I definitely believe Bennett could do that, but like I don't think it would be a shot to his masculinity. I don't, I don't think, think so he would either. feel a way about it, and I think that it would give him time to do whatever he wants to do as a romantic thespian. Yeah. So if he wants to go act on the weekends, he can. 
the one thing about this couple that kind of makes me shaky about everything mm-hmm. is that they um they know each other or met have met each other mm-hmm. before. And I'm wondering what that interaction was like. I suggested that they like maybe met at trivia night or something. <laughs> I don't think they dated before because his reaction wasn't one of we dated. But his reaction wasn't one of excitement either. No. Maybe she dated one of his friends. I don't know. Because his friends all had a look on their face, too. That Did was they? a little weird. I didn't see that. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm curious to see that um, whole thing come out. <laughs> and the <laughs> my favorite thing that Bennett said what? was that he was excited to be intimate. Right. <laughs> I imagine. Di- direct quote. I'm excited to be intimate. And his friend asked, how long has it been? And he said, it's been about half a year. I really thought he was going to be like 10 years. <laughs> he's, a, he's 28. So that would have been 18, 18. 18. It's interesting because I don't think of Bennett or Amelia as sexual. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. It's not that I don't think that they would or could have sex because Amelia being a, a mother is not far fetched. Right, right. But it's just I don't think of them as sexual beings. Beings, yeah, yeah. Nah, I get it. So for them, I, I'm very interested to see where things go. Yeah. As as even like with the relationship, yes, but I just need to see the next scene. Right, right. With how they know each other. Right. I'm ready to see them at the reception. Because Benny, Benny got to show these moves. He man. has to show his dance moves. That has to be a real He has to thing. show these moves. So for me, I guess, and for you too. What? Um, It's a yes. <sighs> Honestly, I don't think they're going to get stay together. You don't think they're going to stay together? I hope. Because I really hope they stay together. Like the awkward black girl in me wants them to be awkward together. Yeah. Like. So you think they're gonna stay together? I hope they stay together. I'm gonna say yes. Okay. I'm I'm gonna be the I love love, and they're yeah. gonna fall in love and yeah. live happily ever after. And in three years, they're still gonna be. Yeah. No, nah, I kidding. think they. I think they gonna have a baby, or they gonna have a baby. I think they're gonna get. Uh, I think they, that's going to be a no. But I think it's going to be a no on... No, I think both of them are going to say no. But I I want to say yeah because I want them to do well, but I, I yeah. I just had a thought. Does he get to take any of her money if they get divorced? Because nah, they don't I, have a prenup? I don't think so. I don't know. That's a good question. Because he ain't got no plumbing. He needs some money. <laughs> <laughs> he needs some. Um, so last but not least, the, um, I hate to call them the most unmemorable couple. Well, they're not memorable because we didn't, happened. nothing has happened. <laughs> we just know of them. So Christina and Henry, I don't really have a vantage point for Henry. Yeah. Um, he was just kind of at the bachelor party. He didn't say much. He didn't yeah. do much. He was just kind of there. Christina at the bachelorette party um, was very uncomfortable. Yeah. (laughs) And Amelia offered her some broccoli. Right. (laughs) Like, what? Do do you carry Ziploc bags of broccoli around (laughs) you? Or could broccoli be a cold word for a little herb? No, man. She was just like straight up because she laughed about it. Nah, she was like straight up broccoli. Baby. What if the it was? The vegetable. <laughs> what if it was? She offered her the vegetable. All right. So, Chris- man, but, but Christina at that party, at the bachelorette party, man, it was just weird. Mm-hmm. I was like, nah, you knew. You know what a bachelorette party right. usually entails. So, for these girls to get together and want to have fun, want to enjoy themselves, and you're just closed off in a in a in a bubble. It's kind of like what do you, like? I know you've watched this show. Mm-hmm. It's like this show has been on entirely too long for you not to have watched it. Right. So I, I wouldn't have signed up for it having not ever seen an right. episode. So it's like you know what's going on here. Why would you 
not at least try to have a good time. Mm-hmm. Because she was like, my anxiety, which I'm not a very anxious person. I'm an anxious person. I have but, anxiety issues. But you, if you know, like, your comfort level with things and, you're, you know, how people are doing and, <laughs> and how things are, are going to be, you put yourself in a position. Now she's, like, for me, it was awkward for her to be at the party when all the other girls are having a good time. But then here you are freaking out. I mean, the... The strippers are only an element of mm-hmm. the bachelorette party. And it seems like she took issue with everything, like the girls drinking, yeah. the strippers. Like, literally, she was like, it would have been totally different if it was me and my friends. And I mean, that's okay. Some people have quiet right. bachelorette parties. Like, they have bridal shower-esque I uh outings. Yeah. Where it's like we're going to have tea or we're going to a vineyard. But I guess in that same regard, even when I'm uncomfortable with what you're doing, unless you're doing something illegal, yeah. I usually can find a way to just separate myself from the crowd without making other people feel like they need to change their yeah. behavior to adapt to me. And see, that's what that's what I paid attention to with her. Now with Henry, I want to just talk about Henry just because he's not getting a he's lot of not shine. getting a lot of shine in this. Um, Next episode I, is for you, Henry. I think I think Henry just uh, kind of he's just like, hey, I'm ready to get married. Um, I'm on this show. They're gonna find me a wife. We we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna put my all into it. But with her, it's me, me. I feel like she's a me person. Mm-hmm. What's best for me? Not for us. Not for us. So I'm really curious to see how their attitude is going to go because his attitude from my standpoint or from what I see is more so of a I'm going to go with the flow type of guy. Mm -hmm. And her attitude is more so of a it's about me. You have to change to please me. I don't have to change for anything because even at the... I guess the the ending of this uh, episode two, she was like, "Well, I'm not moving to do this." Oh, when they asked to do the confessional, yeah, yeah, she was like, "Y'all can go over there because I'm not moving from this spot." That was a lot. Yeah, I'm like, the simple thing for you to do is move. There's four people. You You want want three three to move, so you. I mean, I get it; it's your day, but walk over here to this wall, right? So. And let them be over here. Um, I didn't think about that. I don't know if I want to be married to Christina. <laughs> That's her name, yeah, Christina. Yeah. Um, but Henry may be a very adaptable guy. Yeah. We just we don't know. Yeah. What's your prediction? I don't know. <laughs> I want to say no. Yeah. You because want- Christina's gonna make it hard. Yeah. But then I don't really know Henry. Yeah. I'ma say they're gonna stick together. All right. I, I, I feel I like hope you're right. I feel like with Henry, I'm gonna say everybody's gonna stick together. It seems like except it. Bennett and Amelia. Mm-hmm. That's the ones everybody's cheering for. Right. But no, I think they're gonna stick together because Henry's gonna will it together. Like on decision day, I think they're gonna stick together. So <laughs> Um, yeah, that's my predictions. All right. So if you guys could comment down below, let us know who you think is going to stay together. Who's going to break up on decision day. Yeah. We got a wild ride ahead. Man, man. Was so it like 20 episodes in the season? No, nah, it's not. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, they're going to take us clear into but fall, you know, man. But you know, they, uh. They probably shortened this one because oh of yeah because of COVID cor- coronavirus. So, um, and I don't know when they filmed this, but it was this year, I believe. It was cold outside because remember I was commenting that Karen's wedding dress was long, mm-hmm. and then when Brett was outside with Olivia, yeah, that's her name. Yes, Olivia. Um. He he noted that she was shivering. Yeah. But he did not give her his jacket. He didn't? No. Mm. 
Um, but yeah. he noticed that she was shivering. And then New Orleans is, you know, similar climate to where we are in Georgia. Yeah. So it's not necessarily cold until at least December. Yeah. yeah. Like you might get a few chilly days here and there, October, November, but it's not cold. Yeah. I do know that last season they got married in August. Yeah. And two and, months from there. Yeah. So I doubt that it was August. Yeah. That nah, this couple August. got married. So we'll see where <laughs> the season takes us. Um, I'm excited to see how their families. Yeah, I'm. Come I'm, cu- together. I'm curious to know where they go. A honeymoon, for the honeymoon, man, because that's when it really goes down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I don't have an answer for this, but who do you think is going to consummate the marriage first? Okay, Ooh. I do have an answer. <laughs> Go ahead. It's probably the same answer as yours. I think it's gonna be Woody and yep. Amani <laughs> for sure. Um, I think that Karen is going to hold out the longest. Yeah. Dang, I didn't even think about that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, Woody and Amani. Because Woody and Amani seem to be vibing. They at did the vibe. They did vibe. Um. I think Karen and Miles is going to vibe together, but right now they're still trying to test the waters. Miles is like full steam He's ahead, all in. but Karen's still got one foot out the door. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Olivia and Brett, emotional. I think Olivia's going to give it up. <clears throat> I hope she's night. not like, what's the sweet girl's name on? Um, oh, the one that was with Matt. Yeah. I hope she's not like that. I hope it's not one of those situations. That 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 just tore tore me apart. Man. Mm-hmm. I hated that for her. But I think she's gonna get, Olivia's gonna give it up with Brett. We've watched way too much Mary at first. Oh, I've, I've met her. I've watched. I am like, invested. I am into it, man. Who? Uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, um, Brett. Uh, not Bennett and the. Uh, Amelia. Well, Amelia's. I don't think they're gonna do anything. I think hey, it's been I six, think the, it's been six long months. I think the honeymoon, it, it just it, like his response <laughs> to me knowing who she is just wasn't do, it didn't do it for me. So I wonder if any of that was a reenactment. And I won't be able to say anything about Henry and Olivia uh, Christina. Christina until after they get married. So Right now, I just got Woody getting some on um, on the honeymoon. On the, no, I'm talking about the the. You night. think he gonna get it on? Oh, the, the wedding night. Yeah, but that, wasn't that what you was talking? No, about? I was just talking about in general. Oh, yeah, Woody's gonna get some on the honeymoon and the wedding night. I believe. <laughs> like, I think because I, I feel like people that like Amelia's like full steam ahead too. Amani. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting everybody that hero. <laughs> Amani is like. Yeah, I'm in it. Okay. So, um, Woody or Amani has to do something completely like crazy. Yeah. Just to be messed up. Right. Like we. Or production has to do something crazy. Yeah. Like one of them has to be like a Brandon or something. A Brandon and Taylor. (laughs) I forgot about Brandon. I I didn't didn't forget about Brandon, but I forgot about Brandon. So, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you ended. Huh? I said, yeah. I'm just, no, I'm just saying, 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 I'm Go on, clap so we can do this. All right, so I think this is going to be a good season. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely like, a solid season. I'm like, I'm ready. Me too. This is going to be fun to review. So, again, comment down below um, 
What do you think, like on decision day, if they're going to stay together, if they're going to break up? And also, who do you think is going to consummate the marriage first? Not just who's going to do it, who's going to do it first? I still think it's Woody. <laughs> like, Woody we, and the money. Yeah, like, that's Woody, the, and the, <laughs> Woody and the money. I guess I'm team Woody now. Yeah, yeah. We, I wasn't on <laughs> at ground zero. I wasn't feeling yeah, Woody, but yeah. I think God. We brought it around for him. He probably got the crazy girlfriend. The he expert. probably does. He probably does. Uh, yeah, so. Like, comment, subscribe, all those good things to the channel. And please, every Thursday, listen to August's Love Story, the podcast. Um, we're on Spotify, Google yeah. Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. YouTube, where you can see the visual episodes, just like you're seeing this visual episode on YouTube. Um, you can always find us on Facebook. Um, the name is August Love Story. On Instagram, the name is August Love Story. And you can always send emails to us at our August Love Story at gmail.com. And check out our website, 3 Amp Media Studios.com. Yeah. All right. Bye, y'all. Peace out.